All right, welcome back to the channel. What I've got here is the MPC key 61, and I've made a ton of videos on this already. I love this thing, and I was jamming tonight, and I thought, you know what? I threw together a beat, and it's a simple beat. I'm gonna walk you through it. Hopefully you enjoyed that little kind of demonstration of some of the sounds in this keyboard. Phenomenal power behind this. Let's go over what I did to kind of build this song. So I didn't start out with the intention of doing a cover of a Charlie Puth song, but as I was playing this, it kind of morphed into that. So I started with just four bars at 110 beats per minute. And I started with just this EP and it's actually down an octave. So if we just solo this track right here, we go in here and just solo this. Super simple, just two chords there. And then if we take the solo off, then I went in and I did a string pluck. And let's take a listen to this. And what I did here is I added a vocal doubler with eight voices and I took the timing to 39 milliseconds and brought the spread to 88%. If we go back, we also have the air talk box set on Heaven's Choir. And then just a diffuse delay here. And what I did is just brought the mix up on this, I believe. And that's pretty much it for this. If we go in here and we turn all of these off, that's what that sounds like before. So then let's take that solo off. Let's go to the bass. This is a pretty straightforward bass. It's the fat sign bass line. Super simple part there. Come over. So what I did with the drums is I used the R&B kit, Baby Maker R&B kit. And I separated this onto two separate tracks using the same drum program. So you can do that, you can use the same program and split your track up in different ways. So what I have here is the kick and the snare. So if we solo this, and actually I'm soloing the preset itself. So if I come over here and let me go to the track and just solo, take this solo off, go to the track and solo this. So as you can see up here, what I'm doing is switching between the program and the track mix view. So this is a kick and snare. And then this is the hi-hat. So that's all that is. So I separated those two, which enables me to have just a little bit con more control over the volume of those two separate parts of the drums. Then we have the pad. So. What I did here is if we go over to here, I threw just a filter effect on there. So without this, it had a lot more bite to it. And so I just added a filter, the air filter, and I brought that cut off down and I brought the distortion up just to give it a little meat. And then we have the lead, which is the furry anthem from the hype plugin. And then the modulation wheel. I didn't use the pitch at all. I could have changed this, but if you listen, huge range on the pitch. So sometimes as I'm playing, can give little um, kind of nuances to it, but I didn't do any of that in here. So that's it, just seven tracks. Two of those are the drums. And then five of those are instruments. And then I went into mix view, uh, I'm sorry, mute view. And I use this for my different mutes. So if I take everything out, you'll see that all of these pads turn red and they actually show the track names. So if I play this, actually, let me just take the EP and bring that on. Pretty simple, right? And then maybe we wanna bring in the pad and the string pluck. And you can see up here, my 
timeline is showing me a live view of where I am. So I know when to start bringing those instruments in as I get close to this last measure here. I'll go in and bring in the two drums. And then the lead, I have nothing recorded for that. So I just played that live. We can come in here, make sure we're on the lead track in order to play that properly. And then we can come in here. So pretty simple stuff, nothing over complicated here. Just put together that simple beat. And as I was playing the beat, I was playing the lead over and I thought, oh, that makes kind of the, a cool replication of the Charlie Puth song with just a different chord progression behind it. So hope you enjoyed. That gives you a little flavor of what's going on in the MPC Key 61. Check out my other videos. If you've got any questions, throw those down below. And if you're looking to pick up the MPC Key 61, we've got a link in the description below. It helps support this channel at no extra cost to you. If you're looking to pick up a Christmas gift or something like that, I'm recording this around the beginning of December. So it's a perfect time to go shopping, buy yourself a present. This is an amazing keyboard. And I recorded all of that right from here. No computer. I am recording the audio out to the computer, but it's just for the video. Everything is self-contained in here. And it's a pretty high quality track for only spending maybe about an hour messing around with this. And, and most of it was just me jamming and having a good time. So I find that I get lost in this keyboard because it's so much fun and so easy to put tracks and beats down. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos coming up. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.